been about 10 years since the Xbox One has been announced. I was 13 years old when the Xbox One was announced. I was in middle school, man, when the Xbox One was announced and revealed. And you want to know what I thought about the Xbox One at that time? I was pretty much like, what's the point of the Xbox One? Since a lot of the features could be done in some type of way on other devices like the Wii U. You could do some TV listings. You could do some TV stuff. You, heck, you could even turn your Wii U gamepad as a TV remote on the Wii U. And you can also watch Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Instant Video, or Amazon Prime. I mean, you can browse the web on the Wii U. You can do that on other devices, such as the PS3, Xbox 360, your smartphone, and your tablet. I mean... Yeah, you know, the Xbox One was pretty much going to be the all-in-one entertainment machine that also happened to play games... But at the end of the day, people can do that stuff on other devices. Now, what didn't help the Xbox One as well with the whole DRM situation, that definitely, you know, didn't help Xbox One. In fact, that's what pretty much helped PlayStation win the generation with the PS4. And also the fact that a lot of the Xbox One versions of third-party games, resolution-wise, were like at 720p and 900p, while the PlayStation 4 would be 900p all the way up to 1080p. And so... When people heard about that, and the fact that the PlayStation 4 was $400, and the fact that the Xbox One was $500, and it came with a Kinect, it was pretty much game over for Xbox. It was pretty much game over for the Xbox One. <laughs> and, in fact, they are still feeling the effects of what happened 10 years ago with the Xbox One, Microsoft. They are still feeling the effects right now to this day. To this day! No more, nothing less. And everybody at that point pretty much had picked a PlayStation 4 as their primary gaming system to play Sony first party games and to play the big general third party multiplayer. Because nobody really knew what a Wii U was. Like, nobody really was messing with the Wii U like that. Let's just be real. And, you know, Xbox One, people weren't really feeling the connect. Um, the Xbox One power-wise wasn't up to snuff com in comparison to the PlayStation 4. And the whole Xbox One DRM situation. Like, that what made people say, you know what, I'm just going to stick with that PlayStation for this generation, the eighth generation. And, man, man, and people are still sticking with PlayStation, even now, you know, with the PlayStation 5, because of those PlayStation exclusives. And, you know, Nintendo struggled too in the 2010s as well with the Wii U and all that, but they eventually made their comeback with the Nintendo Switch. But Microsoft, in this case, they haven't made their comeback. And in fact, I'm starting to wonder, will they ever make a comeback? Will they ever with Starfield? Will they? Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see at this point. We're just going to have to wait and see. Let's hope that Starfield actually get good scores to where it could be the starting point of Xbox Series consoles and just Xbox and Microsoft as a whole can make a comeback when it comes to gaming. But... Man, oh man, what were you guys doing when the Xbox One was revealed and announced? 
Let me know in the comment section below this video. Hope you guys have a good day and peace. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and bye. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications. So that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.